how to host your website on infinity free hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can host your website for free on infinity free so let's get into it so infinity free offers you a free hosting platform that has no ads on your website they do have ads itself on the infinity free dashboard but on your actual live website there will be no ads and you can easily create a gorgeous wordpress website with infinity free you don't have to pay for your domain you don't have to pay for hosting or anything at all so let's get into it now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your account so just click on register on the top right and then you can sign up for infinity free i already have an account so i am just going to log on over here into our infinity free account like this and once you log on to your account this is going to be your dashboard so in your dashboard once you have signed up or logged on you want to create an account so just go into the account section click on create account now once you click on create account over here they're going to ask you which type of account that you want now we're going to go with the infinity free account now keep in mind in the free version you don't get the option to host a separate domain you get a free domain with the infinity free and it's usually a great domain but if you want to host your own private domain you do have to go for the light premium version but we're going to be using the provided domain and you have options in that as well you don't have to just stick with one domain so we're going to click on create now over here and you're going to choose your domain type so if you want a custom domain or if you want a subdomain now in your subdomains you have these types of extensions available so loves to blog.com as well as infinity free app 42 web free.nf so you can choose whichever one you want i'm going to add chain and i'm going to click on check availability over here and this is available so what i want to do now is i'm going to get account generated so i'm just going to remove the website for label and i'm just going to add jane loves to blog in the account label like this and then you're going to add a uh, account password you can leave it empty to generate a random password i'm just going to use this one and then you're going to click on create account now what are we creating our account for well we're building our c panel from here so once you complete this you're going to click on open control panel and click on finish over here and once you do that you guys will be able to see you're going to have your basic home page so once you have opened up your control panel always click on i approve over here and now your c panel will be loaded up now below that you have your mysql databases so you have preferences files and then databases and then you can go into mysql databases and you can start creating your databases over here now for most beginners this is going to be a complicated process so i recommend going the easy route uh, which is going to be a automated setup process for your domain so all you have to do for the automated process instead of you know once you have approved your control panel make sure you do approve your control panel uh you once you have approved that you can go into the soft Oculus installer that's super easy to use it does all these setup process for you but if you are looking for a new database you can you know enter your database over here and store info and get started over there as well but we're gonna go with the easy method and you're just gonna go into your infinity free dashboard then you're going to click on the Softiculous installer over here and just open up your installer over here. And once you do that, it's going to show you all of the types of platforms you can use to host or, you know, use your website with. So we're looking for WordPress. You're, you're going to click on install on WordPress. And then on the bottom, you're actually going to choose the installation URL. So let's say I want http www.jane.lovestoblog.com and you can add a directory as well and then you have the wordpress version you want to install we're going to leave it at quick install and on the bottom you have your site settings so i'm going to change my site name to jane loves to blog and then after that you have a admin username i'm going to add that and then once you do that on the bottom you have your advanced options as well as the select theme you have multiple different themes on wordpress uh, it's going to show you all of the free themes available and then you can click on install over here on the bottom 
Now, after a couple of minutes, your WordPress theme will be installed. So it can take a couple of minutes. So you do have to wait a little. So we're just gonna wait for our WordPress to be installed. And as you guys can see, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now, once you do that, you have two URLs. Now, WordPress has been sent to this URL. Now, jane.loves to blog is now gonna be a website. And this is gonna be your WordPress admin. So you can just open this link up and this will actually open up the wordpress dashboard that you have so this is our current wordpress site it has the default theme and now this is our wordpress dashboard it doesn't have anything that i had to pay for i'm hosting my website for free i'm using this absolutely for free now once you have set up your website now you can just simply log on to wordpress and your wordpress admin and you can get started with setting up your wordpress site so i can go into the appearance section over here and you don't have to worry about your up speed or anything this does a great this does a great job at keeping your website really optimized we're going to click on activate on the 22 theme and i'm going to refresh my page over here and this is the 22 theme so now i can get started with building our site so for that i'm going to go into plugins on the left panel and i'm going to search for elementor because i think that just helps in building your pages so i'm going to download elementor into wordpress and all of the features of wordpress that you would regularly get on the basic plan are available for free to you so you don't have to worry about paying for wordpress or paying for hosting paying for your domain paying for web security all of that is covered in infinity free just keep in mind that when you're using infinity free you do have the option for free ssl certificates that you can get make sure to get that directly on infinity free because you do have the option and keep on building with infinity free from here you can really just use wordpress as you normally would had you chosen to pay for hosting on wordpress and there are so many different platforms that are offering hosting for such an exorbitant price where whereas you can just really get it for free with uh infinity free so once you have built your website keep in mind that you can only create like three accounts on infinity free so you can build three free websites or you can host three websites you can't host more than that so that is something to always know and then if you take a look at the site builder you can click on new site builder and you can enter the domain you want to use so let's say it's derden.store and you can click on create site builder over here and you guys can see currently we don't have that domain but if i use this domain that we have over here we can actually use the site builder with our assigned domain over here now i would have to you know remove this section like this so you guys can see this is our new site builder and now i can click on open over here and actually use infinity free to be able to design the rest of my site and you guys can see infinity free has a lot more themes or templates than wordpress if you go into all templates over here you guys can see there are a lot of different options available so you can choose whichever one you want and start customization there or you can start customization with elementor as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe